I see he was a police officer. Special services. Wounded several times in the line of duty. Convicted of conspiracy to sell and distribute tech. finds you guilty and sentences you to 15 years in cryogenic incarceration. Can you say your name? The year of your incarceration. Possible residual trauma to the anterior cortex. Yeah, yeah. Might account for his lack of response. I'm going to recommend against release at this time. The hell you are. want to see. Daddy. Daddy. My wife. Son. How old is your son? 11. He was 11 when you underwent cryo submersion. He's now 15. 15. How long was I in? Four years, three months, and 27 days. want the job I consider mech an insult so do I welcome back mr carrigan Fifteen hundred and forty-nine cash credits, one for each day of your imprisonment. Tech burns. They fly so high on the new junk they overload and cook their neurons. Since you have successfully completed your sentence, we are confident that you will never return to the Cryobiotic Penal Institute. If you have any further questions, feel free to inquire of your re-entry supervisor. Yeah, I got a question. My sentence was 15 years. Why the early release? Maybe it was for good behavior. Since when does a mech make jokes? A lot has changed since you went in. Proceed. My family. They weren't notified, were they? I don't have any data on that. Mr. Cardigan, you're a cop who sold his badge and got his partners killed. You'll be watched. One slip, one contravention of your parole, and it's back inside. Well, I'd love to sit here and chat with a mech, but I got a family I haven't seen in four years. Uh, Mr. Cardigan, no one else would take the job.
Cardigan, Jake. Kate! Danny! Welcome home, Mr. Cardigan. Daylight mode, Mary. Where's Kate? Catherine is not here at the present time. Where are they, Mary? I don't have that information. There is an incoming personal call for you on Terminal 1. Hello, Jake. Kate, honey, I'm, I'm home. Whenever you get Why this you message, me your time in prison will be over. I don't know if... Kate. You can understand how difficult this is for me to say. The trial was very, very hard on Danny. Years is a long time to wait. He needed a father. What are you talking about? Our divorce was finalized April 2042. <sighs> I knew I wouldn't be able to face you, so I made this recording. We have a new life now. I'm sorry. Katie, 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 Katie. You were a good man once. Damn it! <sighs> and I loved you. The house is in your name. There's 5,000 credits in the account. I hope you understand. I understand. I don't understand any of this. I know it seems unfair, but there was no other way. Danny is growing up to be a fine young man. Take my son away from me. Goodbye, Jake. You're not going to take my son away from me. Mary, I want to trace that call. The recording came from the Universal Telecom Message Center. It was automatically triggered when you passed through security. Well, find her. Catherine L. Cardigan, there is no such domestic listing. Try internet. No such global listing. Display any vid phone messages still on file. What's real, partner? I just got word they thawed you out. Welcome back. I'm heading over. But I've got some business to take care of. It may take a while. Anyway, stay put. And whatever you do, don't hit the streets until we get a chance to talk. I missed you, man. And hey, are you still real ugly? <laughs> Not as ugly as you. All other files have been erased. My wife's private line? One message. Call was placed by a Mr. Bennett Sands. Kate, it's Bennett's. I don't like this. I miss you, and it's only been ten hours. I'll be at the office late, so I'll see you at the house. We have a lot to talk over. Get him. Sands Enterprises. Well, give me Sands. You tell him it's Jake Cardigan. Mr. Sands is not available. I'll pass on your message. <laughs> Dirty credits on his primo source.
pristine. Bon voyage. Which? What's your age? Oh, <laughs> Cardigan. When they taught your ass how to put it back in the circulation. <laughs> Is this your boost for tonight? Come on. You ain't a cop no more. Oh I gotta have it, man. <laughs> What's zooming? I need something. Well, you know my motto. Everything is negotiable. Except the price. You say we take a little stroll. The Matrix. Later. Now. It's gonna cost. Jake, meet Wild Side. Wiz, <laughs> king of the cyber jocks. 300 missions and he has not fried a synapse yet. Jake, what's real? IRS giving you constipation? Uh, you want a new credit line? Yesterday, tech junkie wanted me to bust old city hall so he could change his father's will. And today, he's a rich man, thanks to the wild side. Just a simple trace. Two names. Well, if it's so simple, why are you here? 200 each. Half now, half on contact. Meet Cowgirl, the best jock in the biz. Howdy. Next to me. Uh, you want the woman first? Please. Cowgirl, start your engine. net right where she last logged off there ain't no trace for last online i have to pop up to the next level we're in damn she was here, but her track's been covered. All I'm getting are ether trails and noise. Nothing leads anywhere. Cowgirl is the lead bandit, and Wild Side is watching her back. If someone tries to sneak up on her, he will see. This is useless. I'm gonna try and breach the ultra secure nexus. Hang on tight. This is gonna throw up security flags everywhere. It is left the back door wide open. All I'm getting are infinite loops and false conditionals. Son of a bitch, mister. Someone's gone through a whole lot of trouble to mask her out. Tossy at 12. Uh. Move it, Cargo. I'm covering your butt. What was that? Blowback. They oh. fried a core. Wildside, fly it! 
That's oh. a way of making the jocks pay a price. If she's lucky, she's only scorched a few brain cells. Oh. Oh. Go outside! Oh. They're on me. Oh. I'm gonna ghost them. Get the chick before we torch the whole unit. Take your money back, man. Double the credits for the boy. Double. <sighs> okay, go. Contact. Two interfax messages transmitted from Bahrain. Another from Malaysia. Damn! What's wrong? He's over in the education net. I'll never make it. This is... Too tense! I can't make it! Oh. Holy Somalians, what the? They've locked me in with a random noise generator. I'm trapped! Shall we help them? Somebody waved a magic wand and cut a bullion channel for me to get in. <laughs> Nailed it. Nautilus 2000, Marine Biological School. All right, 500 to put me through. Uh-uh, hollow will cost you a grand. Uh, y'all better grease it. The cyber posse's got his scent. They spawned a triangulation search procedure. Let's go. Move it, move it, I only have a minute. School, I fought him, said you were guilty. I saw the recordings of you doing all those things. No, no, they, they were fixed. You gotta believe that, son. You broke your word to people who trusted you. Your partners died because of you. Jake, 10 seconds. Listen, son, I've gotta see it. I can't see you, Dad. I just can't. I love you, son. Please, Dad. Stay away. Danny. Danny. No, no, that's it, man. Just have hands on us. Come on, we got to evaporate. finds you guilty and sentences you to 15 years in cryogenic incarceration. Don't. 
<laughs> I'm sorry about that stupid message. Do you forgive me? You're here now. It's always a pain. I missed you so much. Oh, you cut your hair. You look so beautiful. <laughs> Daddy missed you too. You know, you know something. Before you came in, you know what I almost did. I know. I know, Jake. From now on, we're gonna be in this together, whatever comes. Nothing can separate us. Just losing Kate, Danny. So that's the answer. You've got to face the pain, Jake. There's no easy way out. I know. Because if you can't stay clean, we part company right now. Hang on, little chocolate shit. I'm telling you, it was so real. She was there, I could touch her. Jake. Since you've been on ice, they put out newer, more powerful tech. Not like the stuff we used to use when we were undercover trying to impress the dealers. This junk is major. You do enough of it, sooner or later, you don't come back. It's it. Life really stinks, Sid. So what else is new? I can't seem to get it straight in my head, Sid. I see little bits, voices, faces. But I can't put it together so it makes any sense. You know, we never talked about it. You mean, do I think you sold out to the tech lord? Well, we never talked about it. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, everything's changed a lot, Sid. When I was downtown this afternoon, I hardly recognize anything. It's a radical world out there. Since when does a two-bit cop have the kind of juice it takes to get me sprung from the freezer? Since I quit the force, I went to work for Cosmos. Cosmos? Top personal security force in the world. Oh, yeah? A guy named Baskin runs it. Some kind of behind-the-scenes player with the Yamaguchi administration. That's the guy that brokered the, the deal to make Cuba the 53rd state. If anyone can help clear your name and get your family back, it's possible. Yeah, boy, does a guy like that want from me? Why don't you catch a few hours sleep? We'll go ask him. Sleep? <laughs> Bringing me. Question is why? Fair question. Simple answer. 
I thought we could be of help to it. What kind of help? You first. Jake, if there was something more I could do for you, what would that be? Help me clear my name. It's a tall order. But worth the effort for an innocent man. And what do I do for you? Top investigators are hard to come by. By all reports, you were the best. At least second best. You come to work for me on a trial basis, and if you're as good as they say you are, you'll get a contract. And I'll put whatever limited resources I have at my disposal in your case. Single malt branch water. Did I get it right? What else you know about me? Everything. Sandra, let's see what you have. Dr. Leon Kittredge, research fellow at the Cybernetic Institute. Missing without a trace for seven days. Cosmos represents the insurance company that holds the policy on the professor's life. Kittredge was working in the fiercely competitive field of advanced laser imaging, so industrial espionage is always a possibility, as is defection to the competition. Who had last contact with Kittredge? Dr. Hilden Dannenberg, an associate of the professors at the Institute. This came in early this morning. Mr. Bascom, I need to see you right away. It's about the disappearance of Leon Kittredge. I'll send my driver immediately. No, don't. I'm being watched. I'll let you know where and when. The where and when came by secure Comfax just moments ago. As far as this case is concerned, I take it you and Gomez have renewed your partnership? Well, I can take it. He can. Let's face it, you lost with them. <laughs> A concession to your parole restrictions, the latest in plasma propellant. Technically non lethal. Simple missing person case, huh? I'll expect a report in the morning. Why did you lie to him? Did I? You said you knew everything about him. You don't know if he's innocent. Or guilty. And no one knows that. Not even Jake Cardigan. Why are my partners all dead? I'm still alive. They were killed with my gun. He didn't do it. I stick my life on that. Hey, the bottom line is they're dead. And I'm still here wondering if I'm the one that blew them away. The last thing I remember is setting up the bust. Yeah. We were this close to exposing Hokura's entire cash laundry network. We had him nailed. That entire night was a screw up. Why was I called a backup? You know, someone went through a lot of trouble to set me up, and they could have just blown me away just like they did the others. I figured Hokori wanted you to take the fall. Yeah. Unless it was someone who was trying to divert attention. Someone inside the organization? One of our guys? Hey, whoever set it up, they had to know the whole scam. Jackie boy, that deep freeze might have frozen all your brain cells. Thanks. There's Dannenberg, and right on time. I'll go get her.
look like hell. And when I saw you shoot that flower girl, I thought you lost oh, it. Called Kamikaze. A little wrinkle the tech clerks came up with during the Kyoto gang wars two years ago. Programmed to eliminate their designated target. <coughs> In this case, the target was also an android. Annenberg was the zombies. Yeah. You almost bought it over a bucket of nuts and bolts, pal. Please, take it easy. All right, all right. You gotta tell me what's going on. Give it to me straight. Boscom will give me the details. Watch him. Sometimes he plays games. Another miraculous escape, Cardigan? Maybe he had another lapse of memory. Well, if it isn't a tin man and little Dorothy. <laughs> Still the funny guy, Cardigan. Well, I wasn't laughing when they brought him up as left of your partners. I knew those kids. They were good cops. Hey, I knew them too, Winter Joe. I lived with them for two years. Put that case together. They were like family. Yeah, and of course, your record with family speaks for itself. Uh, spare me the innocent act, will you? I saw the recordings of you depositing tech credits in all those Honduran accounts. It can be altered. The experts were unanimous. No digital manipulation occurred. You sold out to Sonny Hakori and the tech lords, and I am personally going to put you back on ice. Yeah, I'd like to know why you pulled that backup team off. Well, we had an officer under fire. Yeah, call. you want to know what I think? What? I think maybe you're on Hakori's payroll. Yeah, well, we went through all that during the trial, but you don't remember, do you? You were still coming down from your tech OD. Stop dreaming, Jake. I play by the rules. And start obeying. <laughs> I don't like being lied to, Bascom. Now, what the hell do the tech lords and the kamikaze androids have to do with, with a routine insurance case? I was waiting to see how long it would take the real Jake Cardigan to thaw out, Sentra. <laughs> Professor Kittred has developed a device that will destroy the circuits of all the tech chips everywhere in the world. This is a simulation of that transmitting crystal based on our best information. It can't be done. Assume for the moment it can be. You can see how that would make Kittred a target for the tech lords. We do have evidence the professor was attempting to flee into the wilderness belt to avoid his own assassination. The rebel movement there is known to be in sympathy with the war against tech. The vehicle's security systems were breached by laser attack and signs of struggle were found inside, along with the professor's prints. Less than 24 hours after the professor was last seen, Beth Kittredge, the professor's daughter, filed a flight report that would have taken her over the same forest where her father's car was found. We assume her intention was to join him. Satellite surveillance has confirmed that a craft meeting the description of Miss Kittredge's landed in Rebel Hill territory. Can I get a better look at the door? You still with us, Cardigan? Beth's journey into the wilderness area, hot in the heels of her father, suggests they were seeking sanctuary with the rebel movement. Let me guess where this is going. War Brian. Rumor has it, back in the early days of the movement before it turned violent, your allies, friends, even bedroll partners. Why didn't you tell me this up front? You were to be kept in the dark until I decided you should be trusted. I'll sit out of the equation. I have to take the chance. Looking for two people in that terrain is a hopeless task, even for an agency with our resources. Warbride is our only hope. All she cares about is saving that wilderness. She thinks bastards like you are the enemy. But it's your job to persuade her to help us. You want to know what I think? There's something going on in that devious brain of yours that has nothing to do with saving this world from tech. No, no, Jake. You should learn to be more appreciative. Gratitude doesn't come easy. What about trust? Trust is a two-way street. Cardigan! I took you out of the freezer. I could put you back in. And you would, too, wouldn't you? Damn. 
two pops, couldn't take out a 90-pound flower girl. Welcome back. It's been too long. Oh, Corey? The one and only. What do you want, Sonny? We have some unfinished business, Jake. I don't do business with tech lords. Jay. 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 Of course you do. Everybody deals with us whether they know it or not. Don't you remember the last time you were here? Why don't you come down here and we can talk about it? You don't remember, do you? One tech trip too many, Jake? Why don't you refresh my memory? This is where you killed your partners, right where you're standing. How would you know that, you son of a bitch? You were selling us tech, you confiscated on the streets. Your partner discovered what you were up to, so you killed them to save yourself and your precious reputation. It's a lie! Why would I lie to you, Jake? We're the same, you and I. We both deal with a weak and needy. You know how it works, Jake? You either take it or you get punk. High definition hologram, Jake. You've been in a freezer too long. Go to hell. Stayed in the freezer, my friend. At least you don't feel the pain. It was acceptable, even useful to my people when you were inside. Now you're out poking around where you don't belong. Feet first. Take your time. Have fun with it. By the way, Jake, Bennett Sand says your wife's the best. Those guns are useless. I'll be damned. Another time, Jake. Make it soon, sonny boy. <laughs> I told you the pulse gun would work. Just gotta know how to adjust it. 
said he saw me kill him. I have to find out what happened that night. Trust me, Jake, you couldn't kill them. I have to know. You want the truth? Whatever it is? Then do what Bascom wants. Find Kittredge. I was in the freezer. You check in on Kate? At first, when you were on ice, she was real broken up, but she kept herself busy with the job in Danny's school. I bet she was busy. She started dating her boss, Bennett Sands. You found out? But you knew? Well, you're holding out on me, too? Hey, look. I just heard some things, you know? And after that, we kind of lost touch. I gotta find her. I gotta talk to her. I just can't believe it's over. I'll call some favors. See what I can find out. Get some sleep. Hey, you ever hear of any connection between Sonny O'Corey and Bennett Sands? It seems like an unlikely match in the face of it. Sands is a legitimate businessman. Whatever that's worth. I just heard a few stories. Uh-uh. Just because Kate's taken up with him doesn't mean he's in bed with a tickler like O'Corey. Well, check it out anyway. Jake, what's real and what's not isn't always easy to figure. Be careful, partner. Dr. Dannenberg has arrived. Is her palm print check out? Affirmative. All right, put her out on the deck. I'll write her. Who the hell are you? Dr. Hilda Dannenberg. Dannenberg's old enough to be your mother. Hell, she's old enough to be my mother. Don't you start ticking on me. Plant you out there with the lake trout. You can uh, put that away. Uh, I'm the real Hilda Dannenberg. The last time I had a date with somebody named Dannenberg, they went all to pieces on me. I don't move. Butte job they did on you, didn't they? Complete with synthetic glandular extract. The procedure's experimental. Vain, maybe, but I have an even more legitimate reason to change my looks. People keep trying to kill me. I know the feeling. That's why I sent my son to the park to meet you. You have some information on Kittredge and his daughter? Yes, I have. Can we go inside? Too much sun will damage my new skin. Be my guest. Professor Kittredge and I were much more than colleagues. Uh, these scientists have all the fun. It lasted a little more than a year before he lost interest. Yeah, who was she? A 23-year-old graduate student who didn't even know how to parse an algorithm, let alone how to be a sole companion to a man of Leon's genius. Well, what about this tech killer crystal? Is it possible? It's more than possible. Can you make a Thai mangosteen colada? I think so. A little alcohol can't hurt the skin, do you think? Leon had already produced a working prototype before it disappeared. How's this thing supposed to work? In layman's terms, it bounces a beam off a satellite, setting up oscillations calibrated to destroy the cellular structure of the tech chip itself. I'd hate to hear the scientific version. And you won't believe who paid to fund for the research. Try me. A dummy corporation fronted for a tech lord. Sonny O'Curry. Why would Okori want to finance an invention that would destroy his own empire? Okori had Leon simultaneously developing tech chips designed to have complete immunity to the crystal. All right, let me get this straight. Now, once this crystal is activated, all tech is wiped out by these oscillating waves. Totally. Except for Okori's tech, which is immune. So he's got a corner on the market. Brilliant, don't you think? A great scientific achievement. 
intended for the betterment of all mankind, turned to evil out of greed. You helped him to develop the crystal, didn't you? I helped him in everything he did. Can't turn his back on you. That's a good reason to want him dead. No, I wouldn't. I couldn't. I love him. Isn't that insane? He dumped me and I still care. You know where he is, don't you? Possibly. This line secured? Affirmative. According to Dannenberg, Kittredge has a private lab where he's been developing all his experiments. Bascom's scramble is too good. Lock on Cardigan's transmission. It's a long shot, but it's the only lead we've got. Cardigan, don't go in there without a backup. Looks like we're breaking up. systems are now operational. Access last data entry. Project XB 309. Final phase. My system is currently dormant. If you wish to complete physical activation, enter code 7-4 on main console control. Adjust power level control to 30.514%. Then push second button to the right, marked fusion. Stand clear. Jake Cardigan. I've been looking for Beth Kittredge. I'm Beth. Hell, you are. You're a mech. I'm an android. A level 10. At least. My files contain Beth Kittredge's memory. And to the extent that I'm capable of human feeling, I have her emotions. 
Any idea where Beth and the professor are now? What's up? You're not waiting around to find out. Same reaction myself. Get in. When was the last time you saw Kittredge? My updates ended three weeks ago. He intended to complete my memory circuit, but he never showed up at the lab. He disappeared into the wilderness belt with his daughter. I'll help you find her. Why? Because that is why I exist. For the safety of Beth Kittredge. How can I help you? Well, you can start by telling me everything you know about Beth and her father's work and Sonny Hokori. Sonny Hokori? I don't recognize that name. How about Bennett Sands? Nothing. Why doesn't that surprise me? If Beth and her father disappeared in the wilderness belt, then why don't we just go there and find them? Because the whole territory is controlled by rebel forces. We never get in without an invitation. I think I need to pay my respects to an old girlfriend of mine. In recent months, the radical environmental movement, uh, led by the elusive and charismatic figure known only as Warbright. Do you mind if I ask what you need from Warbright? Yeah, I mind. Wouldn't have anything to do with your travel. <laughs> I got a hunch this story could go national, even world net. A missing techno genius vanished under suspicious circumstances. The beautiful daughter traveling with a rogue ex-cop recently released from the freezer. Oh, we're talking headline news here. Uh, you're a real vid vampire, Suarez. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll guarantee you an exclusive if one of your contacts comes through with the connection to Warbright. Oh, well, what can I tell you, Jake? I'm a sentimental guy. <laughs> For all the leads you gave me when I was a punk reporter and you were the only clean cop on the zone, dude, I owe you. Call me. <laughs> Do you mind if I take a shower? Androids making jokes, taking showers. Next thing, we'll have you take a music appreciation class. Well, I'm a level 10. My derma sheath needs regular maintenance, just like biological skin. Well, hats off the science. Well, don't take too long. Cops are going to be looking for us, and we've got to leave as soon as Suarez calls. Shower. I'm curious, Jake. And she's curious. Yes? What does Sonny Hakori have to do with Beth? He's a tech lord who financed Kittredge's research. And do you have some special interest in Bennett Sands? My wife used to work for him. Is there something you're not telling me that I should know more about? You're a machine. There's things you'll never understand, no matter how much data the professor pumped into your circuits. Don't underestimate my capacity for human emotion. Would you come in and wash my back? Don't underestimate my capacity for human emotions. Jake, I, I just had a conversation with someone very close to the top of the rebel movement. War brides agreed to meet with you, alone. Stay here. No. They said come alone.
Jake, is that you? You're not playing hide and seek, are you? Here I am. Come right up, Jake. I'm at the top of the stairs. Here I am. Sorry to disappoint you, Jake. Vargas? <laughs> I'm flattered you remember. Walbright couldn't be here. So a digital voice mask was the next best thing. Since when did she send a mess boy for standing? You've been away a long time, Jake. I'm a general now. I call the shots here. Warbride's not gonna like this. Warbride's history. Sonny Hikori is the future. Are you a sports fan, Cardigan? I don't have time to play games right now. Sure you do. A little relaxation never killed anybody. Vargas?
convincing. Typical girl next door. freedom for themselves, but for all the people of the earth. Because they oppose the ruthless robber barons who want to corrupt our, our legacy, the very planet that we live on. I swore I would marry not a lover, not a good man who wanted me. I would be married to war. And I shall remain the bride of war and revolution until my country, the earth, is returned to the plants, the animals, and the people it belongs to. I have dedicated my life to protecting the wilderness, to returning the land to the people it belongs to. If we allow the power consortiums to continue their diabolical plan, this will be your future. No! Soldier boy here tried to put me back on ice, permanently. I was tipped off that he was on his way to assassinate you. Why don't you tell her about your connection with Sonny Okori? He's the one that belongs to the tech lords, not me. Things are never simple with you, Jake. Tell me about it. Hold him in his quarters till I have a chance to question him. been a long time. What can I do for you, Jake? Kittredge. Whoever ambushed the car got him out before my men could respond. Yeah, I'd lay bets it was Vargas. What about the daughter? Her helivan landed in this valley. Your android's a good sim. How'd you know she's a sim? Because the real Beth Kittredge is dead. Vargas and his men caught her snooping around the crash site and brought her to me. After I convinced her I had nothing to do with her father's disappearance, she asked me if I'd help her track down Sonny Hokori and kill him. I told her the Tech Lord's battle was for another day, but I promised I'd get her safe passage out of here. Someone got a hold of her flight path and shot her out of the sky. And you're positive the van went down? I saw it in my monitors. Somebody in my own camp betrayed me. And her. And after today, I got a pretty good idea who it was. She had courage, Jake. You would have liked her. Well, I'm going to go and have a little talk with Vargas. With Beth gone, I can tell you now, the professor blocked certain memory circuits, which I couldn't access while Beth was alive. There might be something in there that you need to know, that we both need to know. There is a way that I can reactivate the file with your help. I'm not sure this is such a hot idea. I'm not afraid. You know what fear is? Turn it up. More. 
Now I see. When Beth... When I was a student, I met a man. His name was Sonny Akori. Oh, he was powerful. Exciting. Did you love him? Yes. No. Oh, I don't know. I was infatuated. From the beginning, it was his way to get closer to my father. Sonny offered him unlimited funds for his research. And my father's ambition blinded him to the truth. When I discovered that my father was being used to develop even more powerful forms of tech, I decided to confront Sonny. I followed him. I had some crazy idea that I could either force him to let go of my father or... or kill him. He entered an old factory. I went in after. Someone else there. Not one of Sonny's men. They're giving him your gun. Oh, God. No. Oh, God. God. Do you recognize the man? I can't see his face. Overdose of tech. They just left you there for a slow tech burnout. They were gonna destroy your mind. You were like a zombie when I led you to the park to call for medevac. could never break Sonny's hold of my father, so I decided to run away, hoping I could just forget it all. When I returned last summer, my father was making a crystal that would make Sonny Hikori the most powerful tech lord. I convinced him that what he was doing was terribly wrong and that he had to stop. He agreed to escape with me to rebel territory. That's all I can remember. Okay. Everything else is just darkness until I... Until I saw you. Are you okay? You saved my life. Beth. That's why you're in my dreams. What does it mean to be in love? It's when someone else's life means more than your own. Jake! You were right, Vargas was a traitor. We found the proof when we searched him. Here, take a look. I think you're gonna find this interesting. I got your message. Under no circumstances is Cardigan to meet with Warbride. I don't care how you do it, Vargas. Just do it. Freeze it. Now remove our friend, Hikori. And fill it in. I think I know that building. 
It's in the free zone. Sandra, compare the background to the schematics we have of the zone. That's it. The coordinates are 43 degrees, 8 minutes north, 79 degrees, 43 minutes west. I'll make it easy for you. That's the Holy Spear. See? <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> Meet L10. L10, this is my partner, Sidney Gomez. Hello, L10. Nice name. Good to meet you. I think we just found a quarry. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. <clears throat> Hold on, Jake. There's an incoming message for you. Somebody wants to meet with you right away. Has to wait. I think you'll want to have this meeting. Now. Life agrees with you. I don't want to get into this with you. I came to tell you two things. I want you to stay away from Danny. Stay away? He's my son. You shouldn't have called him. He was so upset I had to take him out of school. Where is he? In a safe place. You know I'm going to find him, Kate. I'm sorry things have turned out like this. jumped about you the whole time I was in there. You can't imagine what we went through. The stories, the rumors. Yeah, it's just what they were, too. Rumors. You know, we could start all over again. I know it's too late, Jake. Oh, what do you mean? It's not too late. Jake, please don't. Don't. Don't what? What am I supposed to do? Just stop loving you? Just give up on my son? It's saints, isn't it? Don't do this, Jake. He's a good man. He was there when we needed him. You ever wonder where his money comes from? <sighs> what are you saying? Oh, come on, Kate. He's dirty. You're wrong. It was Bennett who told me to warn you. He hears things. He has sources. If you don't back off, the tech lords will kill you. Sans tell you that? Or Sonny Hakori? Hakori? Bennett has nothing to do with him. How deep are you in? You haven't changed a bit. You have. Jake? I was thinking, after we found the professor, I could easily be reprogrammed. For what? So I could stay with you? I could keep on working and be your partner. L10, Sid is my partner. But you're a hell of a lot easier to look at. Uh, maybe we could both use the extra help. I'll see how much, see how much pull I've got with Bascom. Thank you. 
Wait, Dad! That's my son. Jake! Michael! Jake! I love you. disappoint you the only thing in front of us is a 60 foot drop to the water could you check your coordinates again please Sentra doesn't make mistakes gentlemen the entrance has to be there it's you but <laughs> I don't think so I just got out of the hospital Apologies accepted. We only have a 15 second margin of error, gentlemen. Put your masks on. Back to plan B. The hell's plan B? He's always got a plan B. Got a handprint ID coming up. Ask him you copy this. Keep going, we've got you covered. Evening, Mr. Hukori. I didn't see you go out. I'm in. We're going to bypass the scan. We'll take us a moment. Stall. Stall. Hold it, Garden. If your prints don't match up with Okari's, we'll counterattack with 10,000 volts. Great. Now you tell me. We've got a motor basket. I need another 20 seconds. Don't have it. Now or never. Go ahead. What the hell? Now what? Sentry, put a trace on Kittredge's computer. Already working on it. The northeast corner, one level up. Attention all quarters. Attention all quarters. Code 3 alert. Quadrant 4. All systems red. We have intruders in the compound. Arm. Subdue at all costs. Repeat. Subdue at all costs. Sentry, dead end. Try this way. Professor Kittredge? Who are you? We're the good guys. Get out of here. When I heard the guns and the alarms, I didn't dare to hope. We've got company. Any other way out of here? 
Yes, and through Hokori's living quarters. Would have any other way. Is that the crystal? Yes. Is it operational? It is now. I've been delaying my research on Hokori's super tech in the hope of finding some way out of here. Uh, but, did Beth send you? Is she all right? Let's go. Let's go, Mel. Why don't you tell him what happened to her, Jake? What happened to Beth? It couldn't be helped, Leon. Kill them. It's BIDCA. I guess this is plan B. You stay with Kittredge. It's Corey's mine. and all the evidence is under my jurisdiction. Then take your Cardigan, stop. You're under arrest. Something you don't know about Jake. He has problems taking orders. We all follow orders, Mr. Gomez. One way or another. But I'm very much alive, and I intend to stay that way. Give me the crystal. You saved my life. Why would I want to hurt you? I know what they can do to someone with enough time and with enough tech. Well, you're the same reason you are, Beth. To get rid of tech. I don't believe you. Where? I'll handle this. I'm just doing my job. A servant of the people. That voice. My job. A servant of the people. Put it down, miss. Kick it to me. That night, the man in the shadows with the gun. The 
the crystal down and step away. I don't really want to have to kill her. Slowly. Very slowly. Boot androids are the perfect cop swinger. Unemotional. Rational to a fault. Zero tolerance to defects. There's one problem with perfection. It's boring as hell. You need me if you want to clear your name. No, he doesn't. I was there too. It wasn't Hokori, Jake. Now you'll never know who reprogrammed my circuit. Who, who was it? Too late, Jake. You'll have to guess. safe now I want to believe you but I don't know you it's all right I know you they say the devil's in the details I know what they mean I'm walking in the wasteland with a ghost in the machine There's a simulated sunset And starlight in my eyes The skies are filled with miracles And half of them are alive Are you real or not? It's a fine line Are you ready or not? For the light of day Are you real or not? These are strange times, and I don't want to live this way. When you wake up from a nightmare, and it's worse when you're awake. There's no one you can turn to, and there's nothing you can take. You better ask yourself, are you real or not? It's a fine night. Are you ready or not for the light of day? Are you real or not? These are strange times And I don't want to look this way 